From Atlanta and the 2023 SVG College Summit, Brandon Costa from Sports Video Group. Thrilled to be here talking about integrating live drones into a broadcast with our friend Bry Byron Apt from Georgia Southern. You said it right. Thank did you. I get it right? You did. You did. <laughs> You're welcome. No, okay. All right. Well, we got it. Uh, you were on a fantastic panel here today with some of your colleagues talking about integrating a live drone into a broadcast, which you and your team have started experimenting with. You had some cool shots from a baseball broadcast. Take us inside that first that first broadcast where you integrated a live drone in it, what was that like for you as a producer? Mm, man, uh, that's a loaded question because <laughs> we knew what we could capture. We, we knew what we needed to do to capture it. It was just a matter of executing it, right? Uh, and we actually, I, I went on the baseball field and I ran out on the field and practiced the shot with my operator, had him follow me and everything, and I got exhausted doing it. Um, <laughs> but we practiced it, right? Just to make sure our execution was key. Um, and it, it went well. Uh, and then it's obviously when it happened and we got some of the amazing shots we did, uh, you know, social media blew up, the fans loved it, crowd loved it, you know, um, audience, it, it, was, it was great. Um, I think we couldn't have had it work as well as it did um, any better. Like it was a perfect, perfect execution. Uh, and from, that on, from then on, it was really hard not to tell my student, like, hey, you're doing drone every single time, sorry. <laughs> like, and he was like, no, I don't want to this time, because he, he wants to direct or whatever. I'm like, sorry, sorry, sorry. But um, it's, been a, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, everyone's loving it, and we can't wait to do it more. Now, you made a good point on the panel discussion where you said that the technology is really not the hard part. That's relatively easy. Uh, it's the logistics and the clearances and everything. For someone who hasn't done this before, what's your advice of making sure you have all your dot, you know, your T's crossed and your I's dotted before you do something like this? Uh, so definitely talk to your administration. Um, you know, ask them. You know, one is there an aviation officer? Is there someone who has you know clearance over your airspace? Um, you know, you know that that you have to basically get approval from, right? Uh, make sure you have your 107 license for FAA because you got to have that that approval there. Um, uh, then, then once you once you've got you've dotted all that and you've marked down all you have to do in terms of that part of it and the logistics side of that, um, then the, again the equipment is pretty simple. Uh, you know, from a drone to a, a drone controller, HDMI out from the drone controller to a converter into your control room or truck or whatever you're doing. Right. Uh, the biggest part is just the aerospace and just making sure your your administration is cool with it. Uh, FAA, you've got that all crossed off and then you're good to go. You know. Now, not to spoil anything, but as you look ahead to next year, what are you hoping to accomplish? Like, what's on the horizon? What more are you going to do in this in this space? Two drones, maybe? I don't know. Like, there, there's, there's, you know, the, the brain just can go crazy and thinking about whatever. You know, we're creative storytellers, right? And that's why this technology, I think, is important to us because uh, we can use it to, to put the viewer in a different perspective, you know, to, to watch a soccer game from an aerial, you know, shot. Uh, you know, going left to right. You know, that's 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 something I really want to see how it looks and see how it plays. You know, till you know, trucking up and down. Um, you know, showing, you know, just giving it the, the viewer a different look at these sports that we're all accustomed to watching the same way every single time, right? We're we're in the business of creating um, stories and changing the, the way people are watching these stories, right? So uh, I'm really excited from football to soccer. I'd love to fly a drone inside, you know, arenas. Um, that's a little bit harder. Your drone has to be smaller and quieter. So that is something that a little bit more investment has to, which we actually didn't talk about on the panel. But to fly a drone inside a building is a lot more difficult than outside. Um, but uh, you know, I would love to do that. That's another, that's an investment in the future. Um, but we'll see. We'll see where. Uh, we'll see what we do. You know, I can't wait till fireworks are going off and our drones in the sky shooting those fireworks going off during a football win or something. You know. It, it's going to be amazing. and It's going to be awesome. Well, we really appreciate you coming here to the conference, sharing your story. I know it means a lot to a lot of people in the audience who look at what you guys have done and will emulate that. So appreciate you coming here and sharing all your expertise on this. I uh, appreciate you having me. Can't wait to come back. All right. For more of everything going on here at the 2023 SVG College Summit, you can head on over to our website at sportsvideo.org. And that panel discussion we were talking about, that'll be up on SVG Play elsewhere on the website very soon.